I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. On the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Pleasant gets the carry, and down he goes around the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, second down. And watch out here. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down around the 49-yard line. This isn't even the best example. But I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes which is a truly underrated quality these days. Here's a run. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Second and six. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Three down, three down. Mike, run. Mike, run. Ready. Run, 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 run. Brought down at the 28. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play action pass. It's first and ten. Ball on the 28. Tackle made at the 19-yard line. That brings up second and And this play is number eight on the drive. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. From the 19-yard line, third down. Inside the 10, gains his way to the 7-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Hands it to the back. Runs outside for a nice game. That's good for a game in five yards. That brings him second and goal. They're at the two. It's second down. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Tackle at the two. The fullback back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. When a defense has help and run support from their corners, it takes a lot of pressure off the linebackers and safeties. Great play. We're at the 12th play of the drive. They bring him down in the backfield. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Washington is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to the field goal right there. Henry looks ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He might have a 
chance. Nice run there. From their own 26-yard line, second down. And he's going to be sacked. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football feeling the, the pressure and almost creating the nerves on the quarterback. And they'll probably try to throw here as they line up on third down and 14. Let's go! Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. McDuffie is back awaiting the punt. And down he goes at the 47. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Washington is up by three. They'll bring him down right around the 50. From midfield, second down. Caught out in the open. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. First and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Mike one, Mike one. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Huskies lead 3-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Three down, three down. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. But I love the toughness here by this quarterback sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Again with the run, he gets out to about the 28-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Washington has a three-point lead. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he got it. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Dye takes it right side. He makes it to the 28-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 28-yard line. It's second down. Looking for the corner. He's to the 40. He gets to about the 41-yard line. forward 
to about the 43. That makes it second and eight. From their own 43-yard line, second down. He hits him hard at the 43. Tackled after a decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And down he goes at the 38. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. He's in trouble. Throwing on the run and he pulls it in. The defense holds and the ball will change hands. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Washington with a six-point lead. Throws it and it's tipped away. Great play here by the linebacker to be able to read the pass, get back into the passing lane and get up and knock that football away from the receiver. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 37. hit immediately in the shotgun and five wideouts got his man can't tack on any yardage they couldn't get anything to work and it will be fourth down you always like to move the ball at least past midfield if only to win the field position battle. The defense wasn't going to give them anything on that try. He's out to the 30. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Flips it, middle to the running back. And they make the stop around the 42-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's level at the 47 yard line. Gets it, he's in space, and he is drilled at midfield. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Under heavy pressure. Aaron and out long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. He 
He's going to aim this one to the sideline, trying to kick it out of bounds. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Washington up six. Makes it out to about the 33. Great game in the works, folks, as we come to the end of the first half. The Huskies in front by six. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's the that's the conundrum you get in. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So... I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. The Huskies continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's taken down right around the 36-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll get him for a loss. And he's taken down at the 38 yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it fourth and inches. McDuffie back deep to return. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Now he pitches it, and they'll get him in the backfield. So the halfback loses about two on the run. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 34. Washington is up by six. And he 
tackles him hard at the 42-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. Pleasant will run it again. They go to the left for a nice game. Makes the tackle. Gain of six on the play. First down. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. Get it on the counter, and they shut it down. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 49. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. He wants it all. And it's intercepted by the senior cornerback. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. From their own 33-yard line, first down. Makes it out to about the 50. Second and nine. Ball on the 49-yard line. And a quick throw. He's at the 30. To the 10. Touchdown, Oregon! Trying to take the lead. Here's the extra point. And he converts the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 67-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. So our score, 7-6. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. Fires across the middle. Tackle made at the 48. From their own 48-yard line. First down. Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback.
Kawhi has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. The wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it, let's move on to the next play. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Zips it to the tight end. He's at the 20. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. They're crowding the line. He's got it for two. Three down and one to go. The Huskies with a touchdown lead. Henry has his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. They'll make the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Ready! Block 90! Block 90! Motion, motion, motion! Up the middle for a nice game. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it third and nine. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's to the 40. He's knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Takes the give. He's at the 40. Brought down at the 38. Strings it out left and he stopped right away. From the 38 yard line. Second down. Quick throw to the tight end. He gets hit out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Two 
They'll bring him down at about the 31. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Scrambling around. And down he goes at the 21. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's a third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's tackled at the 21-yard line. From the 21 yard line, it's second down. Nice blocking on the counter, and he was able to pick up around eight yards. This is the 11th play of this drive. Him down in the backfield. Well, folks, fourth down again, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. He's on the run, and he can't get the pass off, and he's sacked. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. This is a pretty crucial series right here with things being so tight. Your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. back and they make the stop at the 26 a nice job by the offensive line and they pick up a gain of eight so it's second down and about two yards to go just under two minutes in the game takes it up the middle for a nice run and that's a first down first down and now they have an opportunity to run some more time off the clock He's tackled after positive yardage. Pleasant gets six yards on the carry. Oregon will take their final timeout. Makes it out to about the 46. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46 yard line. They get nice yardage on that run. Pleasant. Picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Huskies with the victory, 14-7. As we take a look at the highlights, Kurt, how would you summarize the action of this one? This is the kind of win that can make a team season. Pulling off the upset in nail-biting fashion. Fantastic team victory. Washington forgot that the big underdog isn't supposed to win. And this wasn't easy. But they played with purpose. They played confidently, and that's how they came away with an upset win. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.